Welcome to EZTV Presents Tech View, another episode. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about um, yeah, uh, RAID systems, like uh, on your system, how you're going to do a RAID before you install a new OS or any kind of application. So this is very important to do RAID systems on your hard drive, like on a physical machine. Um, so there's like, you guys already know there is um, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID um, 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, and RAID 50, whatever. So actually, which one are we supposed to do? That's what I just want to show you guys here. Um, basically, performance-wise, for C drive, like a lot of people, they do uh, RAID 1. It's just for mirroring. And if you have like three um, disk drive, in that case, you can do uh, RAID 6 with one hard spare. And um, for your application, it's better to have at least RAID 5 and RAID 6 or RAID 10. So based on that, uh, RAID 10 has a better performance. Uh, RAID 1, no, um, like RAID 6, and RAID 5, so RAID and RAID 10. So RAID 10 has a better performance rather than RAID 6. So actually, uh, that's not the sub main thing. Like you can decide based on you uh, read or write. If your application is read intensive, then you can follow the RAID system's um, performance based on the read. And also, if you think your application is um, right intensive, in that case, you can uh, follow the rate uh, chart, like actually for the uh, right performance. Uh, so basically, most of the people, they do rate 1, rate 10, rate 5. And verse 6 actually is very good, but sometimes it has a slow uh, believer write time. So. It depends on your application actually what you want. So let's start. We're gonna see today how you physically configure um RAID system. Let's start my share my screen. So uh, I have a system here, um, Mr. Dell system. So the first thing is uh either I have to log into KVM or I have to go through. Um, iDrive. So I have an iDrive, iDrive access. You guys already know the iDrive um, transfer is root. Actually, this is my home lab. That's why I leave it everything uh, default. And you know, the Dell iDrive password is by default is Calvin. Uh, And I didn't change it because um, this is my home lab. Let's say, but um, in a, your professional environment, you're supposed to be changed. All right. So the way I'll monitor the whole things. Um, so there is when you logged in on the iDRAC, there's the settings. And by default, it's a native or Java. So whenever it's a native, um, it's, it's, it's not gonna work. Like it's, it's gonna work, you have to download some other other things. So it's better to have to, it's, it's better to change HTML5. In that case, you don't need to install nothing, just apply. And you can go back here or you can just launch the virtual console. All right. So my console is here actually, this is, um, I need to reboot it actually to show you guys from the beginning. So how I can do that? I go to server. So on the home page, you have options is power on, power off, recycle system, um, power power cycle system, power uh, cold boot. So anything you can do that from here. I'm going to actually this is the power off option, on or off. So I, I need reboot. So that's why I'm, I'm using this one.
All right. So we can monitor through this. So the server is rebooting right now. I'm going to expand it. So this is very slow. Oh. Right. So you have to watch the monitor. Right now on the black screen, it shows initializing hydra done and you have to just keep watching keep monitoring on the monitor because uh, the option we are looking for uh, control r for uh, setting up i uh, sorry sorry we're setting up red system so it's gonna come for a sh really sh for a short time so i have to close this one we have to be launching uh, we have some issues So I have um experiencing some network issues. So we have to look here on the screen, we can show you. So very quickly, you have to click Control R. See here, Control, R, Control S, and it's coming up. It's coming up, just with Control R. So Control R, I just press Control R. Control R is for um, red configuration. See the Control R here. All right, so I'm here. Actually, let's let's do one thing. Uh, I have some previous configuration. I'm going to remove it. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm just going to clear the configuration. All right, it's clear. How how are you gonna do that? I have to go four. One, two, three, four. I have to go four. This drive on my physical machine. And I'm trying to do weight configuration. So how are you going to do that? So through your keyboard, up and down arrow, just more, go up top. And then hit F2 from your keyboard. Then you'll have a list. From the list, you are able to see, create new, the clear config. So right now, our, our target soon need to create, uh, create a new. So the new already selected, create a new is on this selected. So just hit enter, and then you'll have option. So the first option shows you can use mouse pointer or you can use your keyboard with a uh, tab in the great system. Hit enter. Great system is selected right now. Okay, I'm having some network issue. One second. All right, so Enter and when you hit enter, you will be able to see red zero, red one, red five, red six, red ten. So we're gonna check red zero. We can have two two this. We can create a red zero. It's fine, but um, red one we have we need minimum one this. So you can check it. And uh, red five. 
minutes, three days, or six minutes, four days, or ten minutes, four days. So if you do eight times, what's going to happen? What I have? So if you select a 10, what are you going to do? So just through the down arrow, through your keyboard down arrow, you select the next one and hit the space bar, and then hit the space bar, then hit the space bar. So in total, how much to the rate and how much space you're getting? You get up. See here, uh, when I select on the two, it's not giving me any size here, like basic settings, really size. It's not giving me any size because my ten is equal to when I select three, still I'm not getting anything. But when I'm gonna select the last one, it's giving me so half of the size. That means two mirroring. So Red 10 is a combination of red zero and red one. So that's why you're get, getting half of the space. Including all these four uh, desks, you'll have total two point something terabyte, which is 22 something, right? So out of 22, you're getting 1100. And if you just, just for checking, uh, just uncheck all, and then go here. If you do rate one, how much you're getting? So just I'm gonna, I'm gonna check like from from the beginning from zero. So if you do rate zero, and if you had all the disk, so with one disk you can create it. Two disk you can create it. Three disk, four disk. So whatever disk you have is gonna give you in total storage size. With the red zero, but if let me down check it again, and you're going to check the red one. So with the red one, when you select one, you're not getting anything any size. Just look at here, you are not getting any size. So when you select the second one, you are getting something. That means red one is um that means red one is required to have minimum two days, right? And with two disks, because it has a mirroring, that's why you're, you're not getting it. You're supposed to get um, one point something, like uh, 1,000 something gigabyte in gigabyte. But you are not getting that because it's mirroring. You're getting half. Um, so you're getting half, right? Now I'm going to uncheck this and this. Where do one? Where do you check? Great five. So see, uh, actually, the theoretically, how many hard drive is required? For RAID 5, how many hard drives you put for RAID 6, RAID 10, RAID 15? If you forget it, don't worry about it. Just Google it, you'll get it. But practically, how you can prove it? This is the way you can prove it. So, RAID 5. You select RAID 5 and then select one disk. You are not getting anything here. See, in here, you are not getting anything. Basic settings, you are not getting anything. So, when you select the second one, still you are not getting anything. That means you need more hard drive to add for rate five. To satisfy the rate five requirement. So when I select three, you are getting 1116, but each disk drive size is 558. That means in here it has total 1600 something gigabyte, right? So out of 1600, we are getting 1116. So Rate five is minimum requirement is three is 
If you're full, it's fine. You want to be uh, spare this. It depends on you. So the minimum is three, but you're losing some space. So it's all right. So I'll check it again. And go with um, red six. So what is the red six minimum requirement? First one you selected, you're not getting any size. Second one, you're not getting. Third one, you're not getting. Fourth one, you are getting. So that means red six, you need minimum four discs. And you're getting half of because total you have 2200 something. Uh, 2200 something. No, sorry. Five, five. Yeah, 2200 something gigabyte. And out of 20, uh, 2232 gigabyte. But out of 2200, 2232 gigabyte, you're getting 1116 gigabyte, right? To the rate six. So I'm going to answer everything. Uh, red 10, we already shown in the beginning. Same thing, we need for this. And now let's see today how you can configure uh, red one. So, for example, for you see drive, you can keep red one. So, you can select these two and then just hit tab here. Total size you get half because it's red one. And then you can say uh, OS drive. So, if this name is nothing, West drive, open for the operating system, C drive. You can hit just say, okay. And say, just do the LP, with the keyboard LP, and select okay and click okay. So one is already created. One disk is already created. And how many disks left here? Unconfigured physical disk in here. So there's two, two more disks, right? So if two, two more disks, we can create another. Uh, you, you can create another red one, right? So you just need to move the uh, pointer to here, uh, the, on the top, with the up arrow key, and then again F2. So anytime you need to do anything, uh, like deleting, like deleting or creating, you need to hit F2 button from your keyboard, and then you'll be able to see the list. So based on the list, what you uh, target based on your targets, you can just move move it. So no matter we now create another one. So I just select it, create create new and hit enter. And now before it shows total four available, right? Right now it shows two. So we it is selected and from there, right now see here there's no red five or red six or red ten because red five, red six, red ten is you got more than two disks and we don't have enough. That's why it's not showing here. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna do rate one. Then here, select, and select. The name it, let's say uh, for application or something, whatever. Name is not uh, mandatory things like you have to put this, or it depends on you, it depends on your organization standard. So you can say uh, that APP or application, whatever. It doesn't matter, click okay, and hit. So now you see we have two positions, right? <clears throat> two disk row. If you go to the top, it will show you on the right the controller. This group is two, virtual disk is two, physical disk is four. And this is the disk row type with red one. It shows you red one, red one. Now again, if you want to. Delete all and if you to create. Um, so, how you want to do that? Same thing, just hit F2. Make sure you make sure you select this one. You just turn your keyboard up here, go all the way up, and then F2. And from the list, now 
it has already <clears throat> it has already weight system. So how you can remove all the weight system in one configuration? How you do that? Yes. If you just select uh, clear config, do this and say yes. Now there's no weight. Now again, I want to show you guys again. If you want to create a RAID 1 system with all the drive, how are you going to do that? So if you think you're going to install, uh, you, need, you need to replace the all hard drive. In that case, you can do RAID 0. But it's not, I, 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 I never recommend for doing RAID 0. Um, but it's up to you. I'm just showing you uh, as a tutorial. Uh, so F2, if you need F2 and create, and red zero, which wants to do the red zero for all. So just select. How you can select it? With your keyboard spacebar. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. See, you are getting the whole um, storage system. <clears throat> 233. That means uh, all you have to do four by one. So whatever storage uh, this that you have in each drive is like 550 and you have to do four. If you have two that's 2233. Two here, and just you can name it. You can say uh, OS or something, whatever. And just hit OK. And OK. So now, you have only one disk, right? All right. So now you have just only one disk. Yes, right. How are you gonna uh, break this uh, web system and reconfigure it again? Again, the system is same thing. Hit F2. And say clear complete. Okay. Yes. Now there is no rate. Again, if you want to create it again, how are you going to do that? You have to and then create. Very simple, right? Thank you guys. Um, that's all for today. And um, if you like this video and if if my video helps you. To understand the race system, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't, if you are not subscribed yet my channel, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get my next uh, next video. Like uh, um, I have, uh, I have a plan to uh, do a lot of videos like related to uh, server configuration, uh, activated to uh, be more stuff so if you can have a bell icon uh if you subscribe and then click the bell icon you'll get all kind of updates and thanks again thanks for watching